Moi, je suis Austin euh, sur wheelofmusic.fr. comes from the electronic world, yeah. And I, I liked that aspect, I really wanted to work with him. But he, he has a very a traditional approach in producing because he also worked with girls in Hawaii and stuff, so I knew it's somebody who has good ears. And I always work with a producer because you can't do everything yourself, you can't, you, you need to, when I'm playing the uh, recording, you know, I can't be, I, so I needed, I needed him. And um, he, uh, when he uh, listened to my demos, he uh, uh, understood what I wanted to do. Euh, voilà, il m'a vraiment compris du début avec tout ce que je voulais faire. I see it as a bit of a psychedelic album. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a fan of psychedelic music. I'm a big fan of psychedelic music. I also think it's still um, out there and it's still happening and still like bands like Tame and Bala and stuff. It's still popular and. Uh, I really like that. So it might have something to do with that. I just, I don't really have, uh, it's oriental, yeah. It's true. It's, I don't know why actually, uh, I, it just comes, comes like this. And I, I listen to all kinds of music, uh, so I'm not, I don't have any, I don't have any uh, uh, hesitations to use it and I uh, really, I really like the vibe of it, and it gets a, you, you get a like a, a sound of the world more. And that's quite important to have like this. I, I always thought when I was working on this album, I always uh, pictured like a lot of colors and a big sound from the world. So it's with like these sitar samples and stuff. I, I really loved using that. Yeah. You know, inspiration is it's something that 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 you you need every day, eh? every day from day to day. You need to, you need to be inspired. You need to have a uh, you know the pensée, the, your, your thinking, your dreaming. It's all it's all it's all uh, the same thing. It's all inspiration. So where do I, where do I uh, find it? I find it in my life. I find it everywhere. I think it's. Uh, the title No South of the South Pole, it means a lot, but I don't want to explain it, you know, it's just imagine what, I, what, what I'm saying, you know, listen to the lyrics and, and I, I try to, I, I don't think it's a very romantic record, this one. It's not, it's not there's not a, a lot of songs about love, it's, a, it's more about society and life in general. Like, Toothache is really a song about today, like, the song Toothache it's about, you know, like the first line is, it used to be. It's it's really about language as well. It used to be called unfortunate, but now they call it losers. It's about society is getting a little harder on people, and I wrote about that. And also about freedom of speech. Like free, you, you have freedom of speech, it's really a positive, beautiful thing. But then you have the internet where you can get, have teenagers who are 14 years old who are being told that they're ugly and, th and then they, they, they feel unhappy and stuff like that. So that's the, the other, other part of it. So it's difficult and I, I, I kind of like uh, thinking about those, those things and, and I try to do something with it. And like toothache, it's really, yeah, it's, it's freedom of speech, it's like a toothache. It's, uh, it's, um, sometimes it's just annoying that people have freedom of speech. You hear opinions everywhere, and, and so it's it's uh, it's a complex life, and, and I try to to do so to to make something of it, you know, to to to, to make a story, uh, to to um, yeah, to put it into words. It's, it's simple as that. My troubled heart, it has been stolen. You know the the, the voice, yeah. I, I think uh, the, a lot of the songs are like sung like I am really close, and it's really intimate. It's really, and then it in too thick. It's really more. There's more power there, and that's uh, what you say. I like what you're saying. It's it's true that sometimes we really thought about it. Like this is all about the voice. 
this is all about my voice. It's about having a voice. It's also making a solo record is about ma ma making it very clear to everybody that I still have that voice and I am that voice. So, yeah, thank you for that. The second Austin album will be the, the next one. How do you get this is not a project that it's really this is what I'm doing now. So uh, and uh, I just signed a, a deal with Piaz and I'm gonna make a second album uh, after this one. I really look forward to it. Yeah, it's crazy, but it's been like this for ten years, no? Uh, well, it's uh, you know, it's since um, since uh, since days in the nineties and, and, and Solex and I don't know. Uh, I grew up being a fan of Belgian bands as well, so that's really cool. So that that it's it's something I don't know. I don't I know why. I think I think you know the French are really good in uh, in like the whole electronic music and dance music and stuff and, and and the Belgians are like good in like alternative music because we just we have we speak three different languages and we have the whole we're like in the middle of of everything and the whole experiment called Europe is <laughs> and it's really it begins in Belgium. So I don't, I don't know, maybe that's an explanation. I like a lot of Belgian bands as well, so, you know. Uh, we're small, but we're, we don't mind. <laughs>